Solo traveling is an experience unlike anything else. It is an experience of greater self-discovery, growth and adventure. Traveling solo gives you ultimate freedom to do what you want, when you want. You get to go at your own pace and create your own itinerary that you love. And what I love most about solo traveling is that it challenges and pushes you out of your comfort zone every single day. As you overcome these challenges and face the unknown, as a soul you expand and as a human you grow, learning new skills and gaining self-confidence. You realize that the courage you need has always been within you, that you are always capable and that you can always choose love over fear. When you travel alone, it also gives you a chance to fully immerse into the experience and take time to truly reflect. You are put into a position to learn to be okay in solitude, not be completely dependent on someone else, and to use this alone time to practice loving yourself at every moment. This is why I solo travel, because I enjoy it, because every day presents opportunities to develop and enhance my confidence, and because even when there isn't someone who can accompany me, it won't become an excuse to not travel and create a life that lived. Hello beautiful friends, it's Jasmine and welcome back to another travel vlog here in beautiful Bali. I have woken up this morning in a village called Mundog in the northern central part of Bali and today I'm going to be chasing some waterfalls and I also want to answer some of your most frequently asked questions about solo traveling. So let's go. And how incredibly beautiful is this view this morning? This is just incredible. Wow. So it's currently 7.30 a.m. I've got my papers on and the homestay staff helped me to organize a driver. So first we can head over to Banyumala Waterfall. Wow, this view is so amazing. We've just made a little stopover at this viewpoint and I'm just so blown away. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this sky? <laughs> this is such an incredible and blissful way to start the day. It's just incredible. Whoa. So that there is Lake Buyan and that there is Lake Tamblingan. I just really can't get over this view. Don't give your energy to worrying about what others think or judgments. These are things we cannot control. But what we can control is our attitude. Follow your heart and do what brings your soul joy. The confidence is always, always within you. And you are more than capable than you realize. <gasps> Maybe not. Oh my god, that's real. Oh my goodness. It's so big. <gasps> oh my god. I did not Amazing. see that. It's a bat. Wow, they have bats here. They're sleeping. That's amazing. What's in there? What's in there? Snake. <laughs> snake? <Yeah. gasps> wow. What snake is that? Uh, Python. Python. Yeah, <gasps> yeah small python. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we've just arrived here at the Banyumala Twin Waterfalls. It is one of the most incredible waterfalls I have ever seen in my entire life. It's just like the sky is so blue and the green contrasts so well and it's just so majestic, like so magical and you can see a rainbow on the waterfall too. Getting to here you had to drive up a bit of a, it was quite of a rough terrain to drive up and then you stop at the car park and you walk down maybe 10 minutes so you have to walk up a bit of another rough path. So to the waterfalls, 200 meters down that way. And then you buy a ticket, the ticket was 30,000 rupiah. When you come down a quite a lot of stairs, it's quite rough as well but it is so worth it, you can easily make it down. Just gotta go all the way back up but for now let's just enjoy this beautiful waterfall. Wow, you have definitely got to visit this waterfall if you are in Bali, it is incredible. Wow, and you can swim in it too, there's a natural pond there. 
When you travel alone, it doesn't mean that you are lonely. Sometimes I do think it would be nice to share an amazing and happy moment with someone, but being alone means I'm taught to embrace solitude and fully take in the moment so I can share this memory with someone else through words. It also helps me to gain the confidence to approach someone and talk with them. And because I meet new people every day and keep in touch with my family, I rarely feel lonely. Things are only ever as easy or as difficult as your mind makes it to be. There are challenges and hardships like with everything in life, but when I truly shift into wholehearted gratitude, nothing is really that difficult. Feel the fear and face it anyway. Separate the fear from you because you are not your fears. You are love and life is too precious to let fear stand in the way of doing things that make you grow and feel alive. By awareness and returning back to the present moment, living in the now rather than worrying about the future that hasn't even happened, I like to remind myself that everything is okay. Just nearby the Banyan Mile, you just walked down a few steps, and that's this one behind me. It is so beautiful, it is on its way, and you can also swim in the pool here too. I am completely, completely in my essence right now. The weather today is absolutely incredible as well, and because this area is quite high up in elevation, it's not too humid at all. I don't want to leave. But we're gonna move on to another waterfall now. But the challenge now is to come all the way back up the stairs we came down. Basically for every waterfall you visit in Bali, you'll have to come up and down lots of stairs and <laughs> up there. And I would definitely recommend that you wear sandals or shoes that you can get wet because sometimes when you go down there may be some spray. Thank you. Wow, we found some coffee beans here and they're ready when they turn red. The good thing about the steep stairs leading down and up from the waterfall is that when you get there, you really just appreciate it so much more because you put in a lot of work to get there. That's kind of like a life analogy. When you really put in the work and you reach your definition of success, you just appreciate it that much more. And this waterfall here definitely isn't one of those very popular ones, so I would highly recommend that you visit. And even though now it's only 10 a.m., there's barely anyone there. So we've arrived here at the Banyu Warna Murta waterfall and behind me there's a sign right there there are actually four waterfalls in this area that you can see you have to come down a lot of steep stairs again but that's okay but yeah I'm very excited and as you drove into the road leading up to the waterfall you could see Lovina and Lovina is the very north of Bali and it's known for its beaches and the scenery was just so amazing today is just full of amazing incredible scenery the waterfall is there yay and there are actually two waterfalls in this area so this is the first one the earth is so incredible I may feel anxious sometimes, but I don't feel afraid because new places excite me. I feel confident and I see the unknown as an experience full of wonder and learning. To understand my soul purpose and mission on a deeper level, to learn more about the world and expand my horizons, to practice surrender and detachment, to share what's possible with others and what there is to experience in life, to improve in my creative skills, to meet more like-minded people, to have fun and feel alive, to enjoy the journey of life, and to find a place that feels most like a home. Age is just a number and now is the perfect time in your life to do anything that your heart feels called to do. So at least I have a nice paved path here to walk back up on. And these waterfalls here are also definitely not very well known either, like a secret gem of Bali again. And because there are four waterfalls here, I would recommend that you just come to this area and basically spend the whole day here. My driver, he's so kind and he's been so helpful. He's carrying my bag at the moment and he's been accompanying me to these waterfalls. I feel like every day in Bali I'm in my element, but especially when I'm just out in nature, 
Wow. A lot of things grow here as well and just over that tree there are pisang bananas and they have coffee beans growing here. A lot of things. It's amazing. So on the way back to Munduk village and back to my accommodation we just stopped at this beautiful place called Lake Tambulingan and it's just behind me as you can see. It is so incredibly scenic once again and so peaceful as well. There are only just locals around here. Yeah, there is another temple. I'm not too sure what it's called but it's very very beautiful. So far along the roads of everywhere we've driven to all the locals I've seen are wearing the kabaya or their traditional clothing so maybe there's a traditional ceremony today or something. And this place is more just to have a nice stroll along. It honestly feels really surreal to be here like out of the entire island of Bali I just happen to be here. So much can change. You can definitely manifest anything that you visualize when you manifest it with intention. My stomach just rumbled though. It's like always 1 p.m. Get something to eat and then I'll answer the rest of your solo travel questions. So I know why now the locals are dressed in the kabaya and traditional clothing. It is a full moon ceremony today. That's so cool. So I'm back at the accommodation now and I just ordered a mixed vegetable juice. I've got to ask it for no straw but usually I'll do that. And also the fruit platter from breakfast this morning so I'm gonna freshen up a bit. Are there times that you feel unsafe and scared? So far in my solo travel journey I haven't come across an experience of feeling unsafe but I honestly have felt scared. And when that happens I just bring myself back to the present moment and I ask myself why am I feeling this way no matter what I feel whenever I bring myself back to the present moment it dissolves the ego since feeling scared is coming from fear and I just remind myself that this too shall pass and I seek gratitude I think about things there is to be excited about and I know that I'm always always guided and God is always looking after me as long as I follow my intuition but yes when I feel scared I do listen to my common sense and my intuition and I just focus on the present moment and you know it passes and that's just one reason why I'm doing solo traveling to gain more courage. You have many options about places that you want to go. How do you decide for the one? I'm faced with this every single day. When you have a lot of options in life. It's really like a privilege and I just think about all the rest to be grateful for and I listen to my intuition, what I feel like and if it's gonna be worth the time. I also search the places up on Google and read any reviews that people have written. And it also depends on location sometimes to see if there's anything close by. The last thing I want is to feel pressure to go to certain places just because they are well known so always just do what you feel like. Don't you feel scared sometimes like nighttime or when someone comes to talk to you out of nowhere so I talked about feeling scared but at nighttime Honestly, not really. I rarely feel scared when I travel. I still do sometimes. I'm just human. I really don't have that much fear within me. And when someone comes to talk to me out of nowhere, I don't feel scared either. And I go with my gut feeling. And 99% of the time, it's a kind person. Like I said before, still use your common sense. If you feel that someone is talking to you for a certain other purpose, then trust your gut instinct. But you don't have to feel scared. Feel confident and speak up for yourself. Do you travel by a holiday package or how do you make your schedule for the places you want to visit? I'm not going on any tours at the moment but I have written up a whole detailed blog post. I even made a full video on it about how I plan for my travel so I'll link that up here and down below. Ways to feel comfortable doing simple things like eating out alone. Just enjoy your food and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Why do you need to worry about being alone? Being alone is a great thing. We need to be confident in being alone and practicing solitude. Think about it, if you see someone else at a restaurant sitting by themselves, do you think all night about them? Probably not and so why worry about what others are thinking? Be confident in who you are and honestly most likely if people see you doing things alone they feel inspired by you. Aren't you scared of scams or anything? I mean you're still in a foreign country. Lots of love. Lots of love to you too Susan. So again being scared, I don't project out the feeling of being scared to the universe. The energy you admit is what you attract into your life. So I'm not scared but I am very aware and I do lots of research before I go to new places of possible things like how scams work and yeah just really do your research and you'll be okay. How to go about your first one, first solo trip and financial tips please. So this question I've also answered in a previous video about budgeting and how to plan your whole trip so I'll also leave the link to that in the description box below. But definitely do your research, decide where you want to go listen to your heart and also how long you want
you want to go for, the types of places you want to see, the type of traveller you are, do you mind staying in hostels or do you prefer hotels? And also prioritise where you use your money on. So if you really, no matter what it is in life, if you really want to do something, you will always find a way to do it. Hi Jasmine, anything you would advise women travelling alone? Search online of the places you're going to, things to look out for, the appropriate clothing to wear, always listen to your gut instinct and of course don't just follow anyone if they offer to do something for you. Of course be kind but also be confident and have boundaries too, that's very important. And also a big tip that I always always follow is that if a driver or if anyone asks me if I am travelling alone, I always say, oh I'm meeting friends here and technically it's not a lie you're just protecting yourself how do you make sure who you hang out with is genuine and trustworthy I always go with my gut feeling I'm a very very intuitive person I think we all are but I'm very tuned into my feelings and if a person feels really great I feel like they have a lot of positive energy then I'll hang out with them how do you know where to go without getting lost Google Maps it's gonna be a best friend. How do you make friends with other solo travelers? Speak and just put yourself out there. If you see someone else sitting at a table alone, you can go approach them and remember to not worry about what others think and just be confidently you. Actually, just in this homestay, I've made friends with another solo traveler. We were just at the pool and we saw each other and we started talking. So it's honestly really, really easy. And a mantra that I always repeat to myself is I easily attract like-minded people and loving people into my life. How did you plan and get approval from your family? I never sought to seek approval from my family. This is a topic I'm very passionate about. You don't ever need to seek approval from anyone else. Follow your dreams and do what you love because when you follow your dreams, this is one of the best gifts that you can give to your family because your family, they really just want the best for you. They want you to be happy. And while they want you to be happy, they may not necessarily know what that is for you even though they think they do. So when you go out and seek your dreams without needing the approval from anyone else you are giving them the gift of happiness and when you raise your vibration you will subconsciously raise theirs too and they will see that and they may not necessarily change how they think ultimately they may or they may not as long as you follow your dreams that is one of the best things you can give back to your family but everything always starts within you and when you really love yourself you approve of yourself that's the only approval that you ever need from yourself so yeah I literally bought my one-way ticket to Bali and then afterwards I told my parents but yeah I'm just super grateful that my parents always told me to go follow my dreams to work for it and anything you can vision and dream of it's possible for you. Where do you get the courage from? I want to explore the world but I'm so scared when it comes to safety. There is no judgment against this question at all but it really is you've got to stop making excuses and saying things to yourself like I am scared because whatever you put after the words I am is powerful and you dictate your life based on that. So I've honestly developed the habit now where it's just automatic. I never say anything negative after I am and every day I repeat to myself, I am confident. I am courageous. I think I've always been a very courageous person as well. I know that there will be hard work and there will be challenges but that doesn't stop me. Also I think a huge part of the courage I have within comes from my faith. Faith that God God is always looking after me that the universe does have my back and just this this true faith I really wouldn't be where I am without this faith that I have that life happens for me for you for everyone that it's all for the highest ultimate good no matter what you go through how do you deal with people looking at you while you take photos just be confident and there will always be people looking and this is something that you totally can't control so let go of the fear of judgment and most of the time people who look at you when you take photos they're just they're admiring you maybe they feel inspired by you or even if they judge don't waste your energy on worrying about what others think a lot of the time I've set up my tripod taking solo travel photos and people are watching but I just do my thing because I love taking photos and I'm not gonna let anything stop me and I just let people enjoy watching they can do whatever they want so those are the questions for now I received a lot from you so thank you so much for sending them in I love interacting with you guys in this way if I do do another one then be be sure to stay tuned on my Instagram where that is usually where I ask the questions. I hope that you found today's video helpful, that maybe 
it inspired you to go solo travel and maybe to even visit Bali and the beautiful beautiful waterfalls that I visited today and in the next vlog I will be in the new part of Bali once again so I'm super excited about that and also if you like this video do give a thumbs up so I know subscribe so you join our beautiful beautiful community and I will see you in the next Bali vlog take care beautiful friends